A story for the young is an alternative your peer group leader never told you you had. A novel is not what is. A novel is what if. As our sister in writing, Barbara Kingsolver has said, I don't ever write about real people. Art is supposed to be better than that. If you want a slice of life, look out the window. And we write in a far more demanding field than Barbara Kingsolver does. We write for the young. And so we better be not, write, be not be writing for our inner child. And we better not be guidance counselors. We're not in this for therapy for ourselves. And we don't have answers for anybody. We only have questions. A story is a question, not an answer. We write for the young, and so we write for people we never were. Because even if they are in high school now, they remember no decade before the 1990s. And while they may well be sexually active, they remember no president before Clinton. We can't imagine that and don't want to. <laughs> Writing for the young is an enormous leap of faith, an enormous imaginative leap. We, don't, we can't know what it's like to be our readers, but we don't write what we know. We write what we wonder at. And yet we have to create characters they are willing to become, at least for the length of the story. Because though many an aspiring writer has still not figured this out, a story is about the reader, not the writer. A story had better never be the autobiography of the author. A story had far better be the biography of the person the reader would like to be. And in order to write those biographies, we have to take giant steps away from ourselves. Writing for us is an amazingly uncentering experience. We must uncenter in ways that most people would not dream of doing. But we are not most people. The urge for self-expression, self-portrayal of our own youthful selves is just one more pitfall in the field full of them. The young have already heard these stories about what it was like to be young long ago in some now, say, forgotten era, say the late 1980s. <laughs> and they don't believe any of that could have happened in a free country. More to our point, they would not pay money to read it. And so, in creating characters, a useful rule of thumb is this. The one character your story never needs is you. <laughs>